when you were uh, on this tank top uh, playing, uh, you were performing the coda to Black Diamond. And that was a new coda uh, for the Creatures of the Night tour that you did on that tour, on the Lick It Up tour, and the Animalize tour. And then uh, you did it in 95, and now you're doing it again, which is great. Because it's a fantastic piece yeah. of music that never was recorded in the studio. How did you come up with that part? Um, I've always been a fan of um, Ravel's Bolero and Beck's Bolero. You know, it's a very uh, dramatic, uh, rhythmic piece. And in our own way, we we kind of pay homage to it. It's a uh, it's very dramatic and very strong and heroic. So it's a it it just naturally feels like it it belongs, and it's a you know it was a great dramatic way to enhance the end of the show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh... Was this your composition, or did Vinny have anything to do with it? No, Vinny had nothing. You know, I mean, Vinny, put it this way. Um, sometimes in in the band or any band, uh, there's an idea, and then we just flesh, flesh it out. But, uh, you know... Um, I believe it was my idea, and then all of us knew where to take it because we all had the same influences. You know, um, Gene and I were big Beck fans back then, you know, with the Jeff Beck Truth album, and massive Jimmy Page and Led Zeppelin fans, and we certainly knew Ravel, so, you know, it, uh, you know, good, good, uh, good things come, you know, from a cooperative where, where people all are of the same mind. 